Front and center this week, spotlights a military training instructor at Joint Base San Antonio who's making history in many ways. That military training instructor not only serving our country by training the best to be the best in the U.S. Air Force, but also serving as a beacon of hope and inspiration to so many. Our Jonathan Cotto brings us a story of the first transgender military training instructor in the Air Force. <laughs> Brandon Rodriguez is a military training instructor for the 321st Training Squadron at Joint Base San Antonio Lackland and has been serving for over a decade. I just hit 15 years uh, last month, June 13th of 2007. Serving as a military training instructor, a lifelong goal. This is something that I was fighting for for about six years and I finally, finally got here, so this means a lot to me. And it means a lot because... I enlisted as a female um, and I did my first... I want to say my first 10 years-ish as a female. A San Antonio native, Brandon was born Brandy Rodriguez and formed part of an old-school, traditional, loving Catholic family as the youngest of five. I knew that I was not who I was and I was born as a female, so making that uh, determination as a very young child put me in a, a mental space that wasn't conducive to a childhood life. As a teenager, he first came out to his family as a lesbian, but Rodriguez still wasn't feeling comfortable in his own skin. I was about 26 when I learned what the term transgender was, and all the way up until I was 26 years old, um, still thought I was probably the only individual that was thinking the way that I, I did. He says as a child, not having a mentor or someone to help was the most difficult time of his life. He had no other choice but to rely on his own strength and resiliency to survive. Having somebody support me and tell me it's going to be it's going to be better. Everything's going to be just fine. You know, not knowing that for so long was probably the most stressful, the most hurtful thing as a child. And it's not anybody's fault. It was just the time that we were living in. He started his transition in May of 2017 and says the biggest difference between Brandy and Brandon is his drastically improved mental health. This is who I am. And I've been searching for this person for a long time. Rodriguez is counted with endless support at the 321st Training Squadron and says at the end of the day, his heart, his passion, and his work ethic speak for itself. When I'm doing my job, nobody, nobody can tell. And nobody really cares, right? Can you do your job and can you do it well? Reporting Jonathan Cotto, KSAT 12 News.